Hello everyone, what is up? Do you see the difference between my room now and my room right in the last video? So I made a lot of fun DIYs that I don't think anyone has done before, so I'm really excited to show you guys all of them. They're easy, they're fun, and they're not too expensive either, so I think that's really fun, and they turn out great. Just take a look, guys, right here in the back, you see my DIYs showcase, so yeah. And also, if you're eager to do any of these DIYs, all the craft supplies I used are from Panduro Hobby. Pandora is a craft supply store where I buy pretty much all of my craft supplies, so if you guys are eager to do any of these DIYs or recreate or do any other DIYs really, then go out and check out Pandora's stores online and in stores in Norway, Sweden, Denmark. So I'll leave a link down below to their site and everything about them. And when you recreate my DIYs, please tag my Instagram account, Maisley Official, so that I can like you and go on a follow spree. And also, if you like snow, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram because it has been snowing in Norway for the past week. I seem so depressed, I don't know why. <laughs> so I've been listening to Christmas music for two days straight now because I've been doing this video and I've been pretty obsessed with Christmas. So if you're excited about Christmas and you feel me, then give this video a thumbs up and let's see if we could get this video to five thousand thumbs up in 48 hours because uh, Christmas. Woohoo! Woohoo! And if you want to see more videos of me <laughs> and you want to see more Christmas videos and get wise and all that kind of stuff, then remember to click the subscribe button because that would be really nice and then you can follow my life and get notifications whenever I post a new video. Yeah. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Let's get right into this video. Oh, you make me want to talk back. Talk back to you. Say it, say it like that. All right, so the first DIY we're making today is this DIY golden decor piece. So what we're going to start out with is a styrofoam wreath, some golden thumbtack, red ribbon, a pair of scissors, and optionally, some more styrofoam forms. So what you want to start out with doing is grabbing some of the thumbtacks and basically just sticking them in to the wreath and you just want to continue doing that until you covered pretty much half of it, like I'm doing right here. And I used approximately three packs of golden thumbtacks to complete the wreath. And then after that, you just want to grab some red ribbon and hang it up on your wall in your room and you're done with that. And what I did with the other two forms was that I basically created Christmas trees with golden thumbtacks. I did it the exact same way. It's super easy and it turns out really great. It looks really expensive too, so that's a plus. Next up, we're making a light up arrow, and I think this is so cute. So, what you're going to need will be this light up arrow pack, which I got on Panduro, some paints, a paintbrush, and that's basically it. So, I'm gonna start with taking the arrow out of the box and paint it in a red color, like I'm doing right here. You could decorate it even more with like small dots or stars or something like that, but I decided to keep it really simple just by painting it red on that side. Now, you just need to add in the light bulbs and the light in the back, and that is all. It's really easy and it's really cute. It's the season to be joyful. Okay, maybe that's the wrong lyrics. However, all you need for this DIY will be some wooden letters, a rotary cutter, some fake fur or fox fur, and I got mine out of a IKEA carpet. It was like five bucks, and that's cheaper than fabric you get at like fabric stores. And lastly, some fabric glue and a pencil. So you wanna start out with tracing the letters onto the carpet or fabric you're using. And remember to flip the letters vertically so that when you cut it out, it will be the right way not spelled backwards, if you know what I mean. And then you can go ahead and just cut it out with either a rotary cutter or a scissor. I found that using both helped me a lot, so do that. And lastly, you just wanna place some fabric glue onto the wooden letters and place the fur on top. No, so I choke you down just like a and optionally, you could go ahead and paint the outsides of the letters with a white color like I'm doing out here, because if you have a white wall, it will turn out to look a lot better than if you wouldn't have painted the outside. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this DIY. And doesn't this just pimp up my wall? Just a little? No? Okay. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to have a DIY Santa jar with candy in the room? I hope you didn't raise your hand. So what you will need for this DIY will be a jar, some pencils, a paintbrush, Mod Podge, red paint, pom-pom balls, Christmas washi tape, some fabric glue, and lastly, some cardstock paper, preferably in red. To start out with taking the lid off of the jar and paint it in a red color like I'm doing right here. 
Then cut out some red cardstock paper into a circle about the size of the lid. Then go ahead and fold that into a triangle, tape it down, and go ahead and cut off the bottom so that it becomes more straight. Then you can go ahead and glue some pom-pom balls onto the lid, as well as glue on the Santa hat and the little pom-pom on top of the Santa hat. And lastly, finish the entire DIY off by taping some of the Christmas washi tape around the lid, and then you can fill it with whatever you want, and you're done. <laughs> For this DIY snowflake pillow, all you will need will be some red fabric, white fabric, a scissor, fabric glue, a pencil, more rotary and exacto knife to alternate between, and lastly, a pillow to put inside of the pillowcase. Start by putting your pillow on top of your main fabric and cut off any unnecessary parts. Then go ahead and flip it inside out, put some glue on both sides, fold it back together, and wait for it to dry. So what I'm doing right here is making a stencil for the leaf kind of, I guess we could say, parts of the snowflake. I just drew it on paper and cut it out. Then I freehanded a hexagon onto the white fabric and then I followed the stencil to draw six snowflake leaves. And after I went ahead and cut it all out with a X-Acto knife, but I switched to a scissor later because it was so much easier cutting it out with a scissor than it was with the X-Acto knife. Now following the instructions of your glue, flip your pillowcase into the right side again and go ahead and put in the Pillow. Just make sure that the glue is completely dry because you don't want to destroy anything that you just made. And then you can go ahead and put on the snowflake with some fabric glue and just glue it on and make sure to smooth out the glue because it might show if you don't. And just make sure that you seal every single leaf down to the pillow so that nothing is coming off later. And lastly, you can go ahead and either glue the last side of the pillow together or just leave it like it is right now so that you can easily take on and off the pillowcase. And that is it for the snowflake pillow. I think it turned out really pretty and I think you should try this DIY out in any other color of the rainbow because that would be really fun. Uh, yeah. And for this last DIY, we're making this DIY peppermint jar, and it's basically just candy canes in a jar. So let's get started. All you need to do is take off the wrapping of all the candy canes and place them onto the jar like I'm doing right here. It's really easy, and when you're done, you can just showcase it and put anything you want to inside. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and lastly, a little Christmas tip for your room, because I wouldn't exactly consider this a DIY, is to put Christmas washi tape onto your light switch. It just spices up your room without even taking much time or effort. So, try it out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Remember to check out Pandora Hobby for all the craft supplies I used. Remember to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone!